Hey guys, Yusuf Krabsack here. Today I'm going to give an honest review. Is the new Luke Combs album, Growing Up, really worth the hype? country music fan, and Luke Combs is one of my favorite country artists. About every song I've listened to from him, I've liked. Luke Combs' new album contains 18 songs, and from Walmart, this guy went for about $33. Luke Combs released four singles for the album, the first one being Growing Up and Getting Old, the second being Love You Anyway, the third being Joe, per my personal favorite, and Number four being Five Leaf Clover. These four singles became my four favorite songs from Luke Combs. I think they're a really good banger, and I'll link all four of those down in the description because they're on YouTube, and I recommend listening to them on Pandora so you can support him there too. The 18 songs in the album are number one, Growing Up and Getting Old, number two, Hannah Ford Road, number three, Back 40 Back, number four, you found yours. Number five, the beer, the band, and the bar stool. Number six, still. Number seven, see me now. Number eight, Joe. Number nine, a song was born. Number ten, my song will never die. Number eleven, where the wild things are. Number twelve, love you anyway. Number thirteen, take you with me. Number fourteen, fast car. Number fifteen, tattoo on a sunburn. Number sixteen, Five Leaf Clover, number 17, Fox in the Hen House, and number 18, The Part. And opening up the album, we see all the lyrics to the 18 songs and a picture of Luke Combs. I got this from Walmart the day the album came out, and the reason being for me getting it so quick is because I knew that Walmart would be releasing the album in blue. And after the, these, uh, the stock in Walmart was out, they would only have it in black. Alright, so I'm going to be rating each song a 1 out of 10 and a yeah or nah. And after I'm done with all 18 songs, I'm going to go ahead and rate the entire album and see how I think about it. Already, the four singles that were released to the public before the entire album was released, number one, Growing Up and Getting Old is a solid 9 out of 10. I'd give it a big yes, or yeah. Love You Anyway was the second to release, and I felt like it kind of disappointed. It's more of a romantic love song, except at the same time, it's also a really sad breakup song. So I'd give it about a 6 out of 10, not my favorite, but I'd still give it a yeah, because it's definitely very catchy and can get stuck into your head really easy. The third single Luke Combs released to the public was Joe. This is easily my favorite out of the bunch of singles that were released. It's so good. It's a very uplifting, good song all about becoming sober. And I really like it, especially the story behind it. Um, I'll link Luke Combs' channel in the description because he made an entire community post about it. I could make an entire video about the background of the song. It's a really awesome song and easily one of my favorites. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Everything is on key, on note. Great song and definitely a yeah. And the fourth single Luke Combs released to the public was Five Leaf Clover. And the funny thing is, is that it has such an Irish theme that it was released on St. Patrick's Day. The song is super catchy and it's very easy to get stuck in your head after listening to it at least two times. Give it a 10 out of 10 and definitely give it a yeah. All right, we got the singles out of the way. Um, when I go to listen to this on the record, um, I'm going to skip the singles because obviously we already heard those. And so the first up is Hannah Ford Road. Let's see how that is. Alright, well, the song relies heavily on guitar, 
and I can hear piano. It's a very more rock and roll, but still has a heavy country theme. Pretty good. Um, it's pretty catchy. You can get stuck in your head pretty well, I believe. Um, I give that about a 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite. The It's... Um, I, I like how it sounds, but it's just I wouldn't listen to that on a regular basis, or a basis like normal. So I give that about a seven out of ten. I've definitely given it a yeah. I like I like how it sounds. Time for the next song, which is Forty Back Forty. So I'm gonna give that a listen, and I'll go ahead and review it. I give this probably a 10 out of 10. It's, I wouldn't say catchy, but it gets stuck in your head. I'd give it a yeah. I definitely recommend listening to it. Like I said, I'll link his album or Luke Combs in the description and some of my favorite songs of his. But um, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a sad song, that's for sure, to say the least. The next song after 40 Back 40, You Found Yours. Um, so this should be pretty good, and after a quick little listen, I'm guessing it's going to be two, three minutes, uh, I'll be back. So the chorus is a banger. Absolutely awesome. The words, pretty good. I like them. Um, it gets, it's very catchy, stays in your head, pretty uplifting, pretty nice, pretty positive stuff. I really enjoyed listening to it. I definitely listened to it again. I'd give that a solid 9 out of 10, and I'd definitely give it a yeah. I feel like a lot of the songs on this album is going to be a yeah. So, definitely 9 out of 10, give it a yeah. And the song uh, next up after this, um, I'm going to listen to the final song on this side, and then I'm going to go do stuff because I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes listening to Luke Combs, and after a while that can get too much. So, the next song is um, The Beer, The Band, and The Bar Stool. So, I'm going to give that a listen, and yeah. Hey guys, Future Editing Crabsec here. The next uh, part of this review is going to be on three times speed because I over explained so much on the song and it was so boring I had to put it on speed. So I'm going to have a chapter where it's going to say the start and then the end of my rant and just stupidity. So it's also going to be on three times speed. Just in case you want to hear me say s stuff really fast and really funny sounding, then you can let it play out. So, just a little note. Hey guys, Yusuf Crabsack here. It's the next day, and you can tell because I've changed my hat and my sweatshirt and my pants and everything else. So, um, today uh, I'm going to continue to listen to the Luke Combs album. The next song that I have to listen to is called Still. It's side two, so we're on the second side. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and listen to that, and I'll tell you guys what I think about it.
Hey guys, Yusuf Krabs Tech here from a different angle. Just got done listening to Luke Combs' song, Still. Um, pretty good song. Um, I definitely give it a 9 out of 10. It's all about the protagonists like or, uh, being in love with a girl. I think the they're married or whatever and he's like uh, I'll I'll still love you no matter what. So, I'm going to go get ahead or <laughs> go ahead and listen to the next song which I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to have to look, but I'll tell you what it is once I've looked. The next song I'm going to be listening to is See Me Now. And just in case you hear a bang 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 Father Crab's working on the house right outside my studio. So, if you hear that in any scenes, uh, I'll try my best to go around that in editing. All right, that song was awesome. Uh, I believe See You, See Me Now is the name of the song. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the vocals were awesome. The, cor the chorus was on point. Um, I'd give that a 10 out of 10. I'd definitely give it a yeah. Really enjoyed it. And now on to the next song that I'm not sure what the name of it is. Again, I should probably check before I start um, filming a scene. But... Um, I'm going to check it and then tell you what it is and then give it a listen and I'll come back with the review. We're reading the song list. Uh, the next song is A Song Was Born. So that's a lot of saying song in one sentence. Song, lost, song, 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 lost, song, lost, song, song. Alright, um, Song Was Born sounds super good, um, like the other songs have sounded good, um, I'd give that a 9 out of 10, super catchy, I really enjoyed listening to it, a good Sunday Driver song, I guess, too, a uh, really interesting, good, good story to it, too, and with that, we have finished the first record of the album, on to the second. After that, um, poopy situation, um, this song we'll be listening to is My Song Will Never Die, so, gonna give that a little quick listen, and, um, yeah, let's do it. My song will never die. Um, what I can get from the song is that uh, the protagonist, but I believe Luke Combs is the protagonist um, because he re uh, references a lot about himself. Um, it's basically talking about like him, he will die, but his songs will never die. Like they will always go on and people will be able to sing along or play them. Um, the song I think was pretty good when it started. And then it just kind of got old and annoying at the end because he just kept, I will, but my song will never die, I will, but my song will never die. And drums kept getting faster and faster. It, it, the chorus kept repeating. It got old kind of quick. It was okay. Um, this is probably one of the more mediocre songs of the album so far. I give it like a, I don't know, 4 out of 10. It's kind of like Wait in the Truck by Hardy, where 
the beginning of the song sounds super good and you can tell what the story is and all about but then it gets old with him saying lord have mercy on me lord have mercy on me have mercy on me like that it gets kind of old and this is kind of like this it's kind of like this song so i wouldn't listen to it again if it came up on a radio i'd listen to it but for this since i could skip it on an album or on pandora or whatever if it came up on a pandora station or like autoplay on youtube i'd leave it but to like intentionally play it i wouldn't do that so if i have 10 personally i'd actually give it a nah i'd pass on this if i if i can I, i'd pass on it so on to the next song which is called where the wild things are oh yeah and sorry if the audio keeps getting good and then turns really bad i've been having some audio problems with my microphone so that's why it's probably sounding good right now but Probably the last two scenes are, have been not very good audio because my microphone hasn't been working, so I need to fix that. Once I get that fixed, then the audio should be good for the rest of the video. But before the review starts, here's a quick word from our sponsor. Oh my gosh! Hello, Crab Gangers. I'm Future Editing Crab Sack here. There's nothing I have to edit about this video or add a note, but I do want to inform you. You need to get Yusuf Crabsack merch. If you're watching Yusuf Crabsack and you're not getting his merch, link in the description, who are you? I mean, come on. There's Stay Cool merch. There's Official Dollar Store Fanboy merch. There's Crab merch. What could you ask for more? More designs? More designs are coming soon. You better mind it, boy. It's past Yusuf. He's found me. I better get out of here. Oh no. Man, I just wanted to go to sleep. Is he okay? Alright. Well, the song is pretty good. Um, a really strong chorus. I really enjoyed listening to it. It's not too repetitive. So although I like the song, how catchy it is, a very strange and symbolic song, I'd give it about a 8 out of 10, because it's super catchy, gets stuck in your head really easy, easily, and I'd definitely give it a yeah. I'd uh, recommend listening to it. It's pretty good, and um, yeah, on to the next song. On to the next song, which is Take You With Me. Alright, so I don't really understand the point of the song. I think it's about divorce, but it's also kind of sad, but it's also kind of happy. Um, it's alright. I, meh. It's not my favorite. I'd have to look over the lyrics and have more time to listen to the song a few more times to really understand the song, to get the hang of it. But um, from what I can tell, it's about divorce and how the child didn't really understand what was going on, or the protagonist um, didn't really understand what was going on with his mom and dad. His dad's like, oh man, I'd take you with me wherever I could go if we could be together, but your mom won't let that happen. It's kind of sad. Um, it's not my favorite. I'd give it like a 5 out of 10. It's catchy, but it's also really sad. Um... Yeah, 5 out of 10. I'd give it a yeah if you're into those kind of songs, but the themes of the songs are mm, pretty depressing. So, on to the next song. This song happens to 
flip the record, and the song we'll be looking at is called Fast Car, and I already know that the so this song uh, is called Fast Car. Luke Combs did not write this song. It's a redo of a song, I think, back in the 70s. Hello guys, Future Editing Crabsack here. I'd like to make a note. The song was released about 89 to 90, so just, just, just so you guys know. So anybody out in the comments is like, yeah, the song was released in the 80s or 90s. Yes, it was. I made a mistake. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know who sings that song, but I've heard it before. But I guess Luke Combs has redone it. So let's see if I like it. And I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Alright, well I really enjoyed Luke Combs' remake of Fast Car. I think he did a really good job at remaking the song. Um, the vocals are on point. I know Mother Crab likes the original song, um, so when she hears that Luke Combs redid and uh, hears his remake of the song, I think she'll like it. Uh, so I'd give that about a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it and yeah, so definitely get a yeah too. <laughs> but. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to rapid fire through the remaining songs on the album. And then after I'm done, I'm not even going to time lapse it. I'm just going to rapid fire listen to through them. And then I'm going to go ahead and review. I think there's like four or five left, maybe even three songs left. So not that many, but just rapid fire, rapid fire through them. Then I'm going to go ahead and rate the, song, uh, the album all together, getting old, and see if it's really worth the hype. Alright, I just got done listening to the last three songs of Luke Combs' album, Getting Old. The first of the three songs, I'm going to go ahead and rapid fire review these. The first of the three songs is Tattoo on a Sunburn. I'd give this about an 8 out of 10. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty good, and for sure, yeah. The second out of the three songs is probably the best. It's definitely a 10 out of 10, and it's called Fox in the Hen House. The guitar riff is basically the main part of the song, and super good, and for sure, yeah. But then it comes down to the third song, The Part. Not my favorite, 2 out of 10, give it a nah. I don't really like it. Super slow song, although the message behind it is pretty good. It's about the part of fame that they don't tell you about. It kind of sucks. Um, it's not my favorite, and yeah. 2 out of 10, I would not recommend it. Unless you like slow songs and sad songs. Eh. But with that, that completes this review. And that just raises one last question. Is the new album by Luke Combs, Getting Old, really worth the hype? For sure. The album is super memorable, and I'd give it a 10 out of 10, and for sure recommend it, and give it a yeah. And so yeah, that completes this review. I hope y'all enjoyed, and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing if you want more review videos like this, and small little reviews, and coming soon even more mystery videos. So that's all for today, and make sure to comment if you have a suggestion for me. Um, when you comment, I will be able to see that, and let's say you want me to review something that maybe I don't know about, so then you can say that, and then I'll learn about it, and it might even turn into a review video, so make sure to comment. Oh yeah, and also share this video, or share my channel with others if you want to, people you know that might like and enjoy my channel, especially reviews, because that also helps out so then they can learn about my channel, and then suggest comments, and also subscribe, because that also really helps out. That's it. Stay cool and peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.